So hey guys, it's me Tristan and as you see I've had the chance to spray paint the model. First thing I'm gonna do is paint the skin from inside to the outside. That's my thing. So first up, as I wanna achieve a warm skin tone and this uh, maybe a bit cartoonish or even anime style warm skin tone, then for that I used uh, one drop of blood red and two drops of dwarf flesh and got this pinkish mix and I'm gonna use it as base coat. Uh, so about uh, spray painting right? So if, if you're like me and you live in a area where there's uh, four seasons that include a lot of rain, snow and mostly rain, some of you probably can uh, relate to that. And now we're gonna continue with a mix of three to one of blood red and dwarf skin and now you can see I, I have my detail brush because I want the skin to be really smooth then you always find yourself in this tight spot that during the winter times there really isn't a chance to spray paint your models without a hassle so uh, what I've come up with is um, the most important thing to remember is I never spray paint when it's raining it could be done when it's snowing but raining bad bad idea so what I do is uh, they always say in the spray can that oh shake it at, for at least two minutes right but when it's really cold in the winter times it's actually smart to shake it for at least three minutes and you know shake it uh, thoroughly you have to be cha total James Bond on that subject because you have to have it shaken not stirred now I'm adding just a little bit of uh, dwarf flesh to the existing mix I don't spray paint outside when it's snowing or when it's cold because it's too cold so I do it in my corridor there's a fairly good uh, ventilation there but uh, it's still pretty pretty cold so of course wear a mask so you won't uh, inhale the fumes because it's pretty toxic spray paints are when you spray paint in your corridor or in your workshop or in your like let's say garage so now I'm going for pure skin pure dwarf skin when you spray paint first of all shake it for three minutes then as always in little amounts at a time of course uh, it should be like 30 centimeters or I guess 10 12 inches away from the model and when you get the first cover bring it inside to your room or house or apartment and I have this uh, air conditioner that blows warm air into the into my apartment so to keep the temperature pretty normal all the time so I now I'm gonna now I did a mix of uh, dwarf flesh and head flesh pretty much one on one or maybe a bit more of the dwarf skin hold it up underneath it for let's say five ten seconds and then I leave it one meter away from it then it'll dry up pretty pretty fast and then I do it again and uh, sometimes I do it three times so that's that's one way to spray paint your models in the winter time for me it works and now as uh, for the last layer of skin I'm gonna go with um, pure elf skin tone but still the my corridor will smell of the fumes afterwards a bit but hey I don't live in the corridor I live in my apartment so it doesn't matter of course there's always the possibility of hand under coating your models with a brush but oddly enough I think it takes too much time not like spray painting your model for three times isn't but that's my style I'm pretty confused about those things back here on her back so these are the three paints that I used to build up this skin tones if I would have wanted to make her a bit cold I would have exchanged this blood red against maybe for example electric blue anyways thank you for watching keep it safe and I'll talk to you next time <laughs>